So Last Born Standing just got a big update for the game mode where before it was tied to the interference event where it was only played on Breaker. It was your first time kind of playing through it. Now Last Born Standing is its own game mode and has all the maps in BTP, but also got an update for the game mechanics as well. We played this out on my stream the other day, guys. If you guys want to catch my streams, link in the description down below. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening on Twitch. And the big change that came with this new update to Last Spartan Standing is that they changed all the equipment drops within the game. So previously it was all camo and overshield. Now you have the full suite of equipment within the game mode. And from my experience, Hemo and OS are still very prevalent options that pop that fly down. Uh, you don't usually get a whole lot of other options when it comes to the other things like the other bits of equipment you can play around with within the sandbox of Halo Infinite. But you do see things like grapple shot, uh, you got the drop wall in there, uh, and you also got the threat sensor and things like that mixed into the whole process. Uh, you see me here playing on fragmentation where the loot caves are available for you to jump around and play on. But the uh, the interesting thing is that like it doesn't give you the full suite of the loot cave. You only get like a small bit like we just saw over here where basically I got like an overshield and then equipment and some grenades and stuff like that. It's like the BTB version where you get like weapon variants and you can completely dominate, which is a good balance for sure. But you know, sometimes when you open it up, you're like, oh man, that's it. But hey, overshield is still very important within this game mode uh, to the point where I'm like, man, I kind of don't want to see overshield in this game mode anymore. I feel like a lot of times that it really determines who wins or loses a gunfight if you have overshield involved with the process. And so I would actually like personally like to see an update where you remove overshield, but keep all the other bits of equipment in there. Cause camo, you can still see the person and counter them rather easily, but you have overshield, like they, it's basically game over. Like that's a free win for the gunfight. And especially since in last part in standing, a lot of your gunfights are one-on-ones, especially towards the end circle, they can make or break the difference if you win or lose. Then I know that 343 did state that they wanted Last Spartan Stadium to have a little bit of chance, a little bit of luck involved with it. And I totally agree with that too. I like that aspect of it, but it's really more like an easy win option when you tap Overshield. So let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts of Overshield being in the game, guys, when it comes to Last Spartan Standing. Personally, I want it now, but I can maybe understand why people would like it and have it in because you get like that huge power boost, right? Uh, but for the most part, uh, the one thing I noticed about Last Spartan Standing playing on these other BTB maps is mainly the effect that I realized that the spawn system doesn't really work for last part in standing. And what I mean by that, because well, previously we played on Breaker, right? And that map is really kind of divided up into two sections on either side, because you got that cavern in the middle, and obviously it's like high ground. You don't usually spawn people right there, so that would totally make sense. Uh, but from my experience of playing B uh, Last Barn Standing on these BTB maps, is that mainly people will be spawning around the bases for the most part. No one's really spawning in the middle or far away enough to where you can't just like easily third party. So I found the strategy a lot of times is to get high ground around one of the bases and just kind of patrol the area, just keep running circles, basically run the whole process. Because eventually someone's gonna spawn up behind you and you can get the high ground jump on them. Uh, this is definitely prevalent in a map like High Power where when I was playing that map, I mainly found myself on High Power just sticking to like one of the big bases, right? Right here you see me on this one, on the red team base, I believe it is or something like that. Yeah, so I got the quick double kill, I rode up to the top, height advantage and essentially wait for people to spawn up because people will spawn behind those rocks where i'm looking at right now where if i'm staying right here so eventually i'm like okay well i'll just stand my high ground be patient and wait for a spawner to pop up and i believe eventually later on in this clip someone does spawn up right over here where those rocks in the back so I would like to see the spawn system tweaked for this game mode a bit more to where it has a bit more variety because uh, it seems to kind of borrow the same spawn system that's already on the map for big team battle but then puts it in a free-for-all setting and so basically you have like two different sides of the map that are really going at it but then no one else is really kind of fighting in the middle of the map or really expanding beyond where you need to go which helps keep the action high pa paced for sure but I just feel like it's kind of lending itself to not the best gameplay experience where you're really just kind of waiting for spawners and killing those players while you have the height advantage rather than really kind of exploring and looting where just kind of like the feel of like a battle royale because this game mode essentially is a light battle royale. Uh, but it obviously it doesn't really exactly play like one. You see right here, I'm looking at this guy who just spawned in the back of those trees. I have the high ground, so I'm just gonna keep staying right here and neither just put some pepper up a little bit and just kind of wait for the example to happen where I eventually get the kill. But 
uh, for, but it's still fun. The variety is nice. Helps make, break up the monotony a little bit right there. It's just like, I feel like when I'm playing Last Bar and Standing, I'm like, man, you know, it'd be really cool if we played a true battle royale in Halo, which I would never know. It might be announced with uh, the Tatanka mode might be announced right here in coming up next month uh, as next month is the big reveal month when it comes to gaming and stuff like that. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Next, we got to talk about another topic here involving Halo. And in reply to the super slidey boy himself, Shyway said that he just noticed that Fire Range has a endless mode, which Shyway, that means you're not watching my videos. You just exposed yourself right there. Cause I've been talking about it all the time before it releases season two. Come on, man. <laughs> kidding, kidding aside, uh, this is, which is dope, but I can't play endless against level three. Now the head of the development for training mode, David Ellis goes out here and says, in order to get the endless drills out the door sooner, we chose to include a super set of all level one through three targets. Longer term, we need a UI UX overhaul to support the greater extensibility, which seems to be the common thread when it comes to Halo Infinite, when it comes to the limitations of the game, is that, oh yeah, sorry, the, the UI doesn't support it. But it sounds like David Ellis for 343 recognized that they want more options when it comes to this game, which totally would involve having a UI overhaul, which I'm sure is something that's in the works right now for Halo Infinite. Now, when will that overhaul happen? Uh, probably not this year, but probably sometime within maybe the second year of Halo Infinite. I definitely don't expect it to come with season three. As season two, it's mainly focusing on bug fixes, tightening up loose ends, making things run a bit better and stuff like that, especially with those drop pods that are mean, coming at the end of every month, which we're kind of reaching towards the end of that month. So you should start seeing some information about these drop pods for May when it comes to what's gonna be changing and updating for the game. And if you know me, of course, we'll be covering it here on the channel. Now there are various fan mockups when it comes to UI changes. I know 343 has definitely seen some of the more popular ones, like one here, for example, showcases like map voting, the playlist, the players you're playing with and stuff like that, which is kind of nice. A nice little moving background to kind of keep things visually pleasing, simple, easy to read, which is really nice. That's something I feel like 343 has always kind of struggled on is coming with the, with their UIs. You see here another example of like the players you're playing against, the little bit of the customization they have, the map your mode you're playing on, the little bit of a layout of the map as well to give you a better idea of how the map should play out. So, I mean, stuff like this is really nice to have. I've also seen a lot of vertical makeups when it comes to the UI changes from fans as well as I think this kind of fits the screen a little bit better. As 343 seems to be really all about the horizontal layout, which can be difficult to find exactly what you're looking for. Right here, you can kind of see everything you can customize in one snapshot and you can kind of click on what you need to change up, which is really nice to see. Obviously, this is all just fan creations and stuff like that. So obviously, we'll kind of see if 343 wants to follow in their footsteps of the fan base to kind of see like, oh, maybe there are some really effective ways we could throw together this UI rather than having just like horizontal layouts, which is actually kind of hard to find everything or know everything that you can customize. Of course, this is a developing story. So as soon as we get some concrete information, you know, I'll be sharing with you guys here on the channel. But if you're new to the channel, missing any content from me recently, check out this place right here. Got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.